Tesla is a company that just can't seem to escape controversy. With Elon Musk's wild past couple of weeks with Twitter, he was probably hoping that Tesla would remain a more stable business. This unfortunately does not appear to be the case. In this video, we'll be explaining recent allegations about the electric car manufacturer from construction workers who helped to build a recent factory. Also, stick around to the end of the video to learn about the fault that caused a fatal accident in China and led to 1,000 cars being recalled. First, where is the factory that's under question? The Tesla factory under question is a 2,500-acre gigafactory that workers began constructing in 2020. It was designed to be the United States central outpost for the company and was touted by Musk as a wonderful job opportunity for thousands of workers. The plant would be located in Austin, Texas, alongside the Colorado River near the airport. This is certainly not the first time a Tesla plant in the United States has been at the center of a scandal. The Tesla plant in Fremont, California reportedly paid over $236,000 and fines to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration between 2014 and 2018. This is far more than the average auto plant in the states. The Reno, Nevada plant also has a rough reputation with many workers reported being injured on the job, with some even losing limbs. When the company announced its new massive factory in Austin, many people became worried based on the company's poor track record regarding safety. It appears that these fears were warranted as many construction workers on the project are coming forward with allegations against the company, here's what they had to say. So what were whistleblowers claiming about the Tesla factory's construction working conditions? The factory began construction in 2020 and employed thousands of workers to help build the project. Some of these workers have gone on to file a complaint with the Federal Department of Labor for how they were being treated on the job. There is a wide range of accusations made against the company, which we'll get into now. One worker claimed that a subcontractor did not provide adequate job safety training. This includes teaching the workers about their rights and the right to refuse dangerous work. There are claims that the subcontractor created falsified documents stating that workers received this mandatory training. One worker, Victor, who only provided his first name for fear of retaliation from the company, said he is filing a complaint with the Department of Labor over these fake certifications. Some of the work conditions he described included working on a roof with no lights, working in smoky environments with no masks, and working on a flooded floor with live wires everywhere. These were all conditions the workers had to deal deal with without receiving basic safety training, he told his wife that he feared he would die while working in the factory. He would explain that one of his co-workers was so desperate for money that he continued working with a brace after breaking his arm while working. Aside from the overt safety violations, there were also clear issues with employee pay. Additional claims were that workers were promised double pay hours when asked to work Thanksgiving. Once the workers had completed these hours, they were only given their standard hourly wage. Between safety issues and misinformation about pay bonuses, it's clear that there were some major issues during the construction of the Austin plant. Now that we've reviewed what workers have said about the factory, what are their advocates saying about these conditions? Next, what are workers' rights advocates claiming about the situation? One attorney working for the Workers' Defense Project named Hannah Alexander had some choice words for the situation with Tesla. She explained that Tesla, despite all the money they had at their disposal, did not seem interested in ensuring their workers had safe working conditions. Workers' Defense Project has not yet shared information about the contractors and subcontractors responsible for the alleged labor violations. This is due to it being an ongoing investigation. Ultimately, workers' rights advocates like Alexander argue that a massive company like Tesla needs to take more responsibility for the safety of its workers. Because such construction is fragmented industry and there were likely numerous contractors and subcontractors hired for the project, a massive company like like Tesla needs to take the initiative to protect its workers in a situation like this. Unfortunately, with companies the size of Tesla, workers' rights are often not given priority over the pursuit of profits. With that being said, what are the actual factors that lead to conditions like those at the Tesla factory? So, why were working conditions so bad at the Tesla factory? Local governments can take some of the blame for the lack of safety training at the Austin Tesla factory. This is because cities compete for a billion dollar investment from a company like Tesla. This makes sense when considering how much something like this would stimulate a local economy. With that being said, this leads to a race to the bottom where cities are willing to overlook certain things to ensure the project moves forward. Austin apparently proposed millions of dollars in tax rebates to Tesla and did not enforce many of the safety precautions that workers' rights advocates suggested. David Chinkanchin, policy director at Workers' Defense Project, explains that they recommended independent monitoring of the factory's working conditions, but this did not occur. 
Victor summarizes the situation by saying, quote, everybody's at fault. Anybody could have prevented it. Tesla could have prevented it. This issue with their factory is far from the only controversy Tesla's facing now. Next, we'll examine a fatal accident in China that resulted in over 1,000 vehicles being recalled. What was the accident that preceded over 1,000 Teslas recalled in Australia? It was recently announced that over 1,000 Teslas were recalled in Australia over fear regarding a recent crash in China. Just two weeks ago, three 26 Models 3s were announced to have seatbelt issues, but it appears there is an even more serious issue with the company's Model Y. Several days ago in China, there was a terrifying video that showed the fault causing a fatal car crash. The video was filmed in Guangdong, China, and showed a Tesla appearing to begin parking before speeding up erratically. This unfortunately would cause the deaths of two people, including a high school student, and seriously injure three people, including the driver. Tesla has agreed to cooperate with Chinese police and has agreed to, quote, actively provide any necessary assistance with their investigation. This is an incredibly upsetting situation, especially because no individual can be blamed for it. Instead, a specific fault in the vehicle led to the horrible incident. Although they are not necessarily due to the same fault, shortly after this accident, over 1,000 more vehicles were recalled in Australia. Keep watching to find out why. Finally, what was the fault that caused this accident to occur? As mentioned earlier, there was a recent recall of several hundred Tesla models Model 3s due to a seatbelt fault. This other fault has led to a much larger recall of over 1,000 vehicles, specifically the Model X and Model S. This is a more worrying fault because it endangers other people as well as the driver. The fault is found in the vehicle's steering and has led the Australian Department of Transport to issue a recall. It's reported by the department that the fault increases, quote, the risk of an accident causing serious injury or death to drivers, passengers, and other people nearby. The fault report impacts the vehicle's electronic power assist steering. The fault sees this system lose power, which leads to the driver being required to use significantly more effort to turn the vehicle, particularly at low speeds. Although the car will play an audio alert and give the driver a visual warning, the fault could still lead to serious injury or even death if the driver is unprepared. Vehicle owners affected by the problem are advised to download a new software for their vehicles, which reportedly fixes the issue. An authorized dealer can also do this if vehicle owners are unsure how to install it themselves. With multiple recalls, Tesla is not currently in the best position. While it's currently unclear if other faults remain in other models, Tesla users may be well advised to keep an eye on the news so they don't get caught off guard. In all fairness to the company, all auto manufacturers have experienced issues that lead to recalls, which is not necessarily a reason to fear the company. Because Tesla is looking to innovate the driving process, there will always be some setbacks. What do you think of the recent Tesla controversies? Do you think there will be serious repercussions for the factory's labor violations? How about the recent faults? What's your opinion on Tesla as a whole? Are you a supporter of the company? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.